Who's eating at rest? Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Netflix, Amazon, GitHub. Look at that menu. It's just four basic options. You ask for something, they go to the kitchen, the server, grab what you need, and bring it back to you. Arrest versus SOAP versus Web API. If these terms make your head spin, you're not alone. I've been there, staring at documentation, drowning in technical jargon, wondering why something so fundamental has to be so confusing. But what if I told you that APIs work exactly like restaurants? Not kinda sorta like restaurants, but exactly like them. In the next few minutes, you're gonna understand APIs so clearly, you'll never forget the difference. Let's dive in. Here's why everyone gets confused about APIs. Traditional explanations throw around phrases like REST is representational state transfer, or SOAP uses XML envelopes, or my personal favorite, Web APIs use HTTP protocol. Yeah, super helpful, right? These technical definitions are like explaining how to drive by describing the internal combustion engine. Technically correct? Sure. Helpful for beginners? Not even close. So let's throw out the textbook and visit somewhere much more fun. Welcome to API City. See this whole neighborhood? This entire food district? This is what a web API actually is. It's not a specific restaurant, it's the whole district where different types of restaurants live. You've got Rest Cafe over here. That's your fast casual spot. Then there's Soap Formal, the fancy place with the dress code. And hey, there's even GraphQL hiding in the corner, but that's a story for another day. Here's the key insight that'll save you years of confusion. Web API is the umbrella term. It's the neighborhood. Rest and Soap, they're just different restaurants in that neighborhood. Mind blown yet. But here's how it actually works. You, the client, walk up to an API, which is just a restaurant, you place your order, and you get your data back, your food. That's it. APIs are literally just middlemen between you and your data. You ask for something, they go to the kitchen, the server, grab what you need, and bring it back to you. No magic, no mystery, just order and pick up. Now, let's see how different restaurants handle your order. Welcome to the rest restaurant. Think Chipotle or Subway. Fast, casual, simple. Look at that menu. It's just four basic options. Get means I'll have a burger. Post means create my order. Put means actually change those to large fries. And delete means cancel that drink. That's literally it. Four simple commands that do everything you need. No complicated ordering process, no special language to learn. You point at what you want and you get it. And the best part, you can come as you are. No reservation needed. Each order stands completely on its own. The restaurant doesn't need to know who you are or what you ordered last time. So why does everyone love rest? Two big reasons. First, it's stateless. See that no reservations needed sign? Every single request contains everything the server needs to know. It's like walking into McDonald's. They don't need to know your life story to serve you a burger. And second, look at that response. Clean, simple JSON. Just curly brackets and data. Here's your burger, here's your fries, that'll be $12.99. No extra fluff, no unnecessary wrapping, just your data. This simplicity is why REST powers 90% of modern web APIs. When in doubt, REST is probably your answer. Now let's visit the SOAP restaurant. Welcome to fine dining, where everything has a protocol. First, you need an XML envelope just to make a reservation. That's like needing a formal invitation just to walk in the door. Then there's the WSDL contract, basically a 50-page menu that describes every possible way you can order. Look at that request format. Everything wrapped in CAGs, inside more tags, inside an envelope. It's like ordering a burger and having it delivered on a silver platter inside a locked box with a notarized receipt. Is it secure? Absolutely. Is it reliable? You bet. Is it overkill for ordering a burger? Yeah, probably. Let's put them side by side. REST is fast. See that speed meter? It's lightweight, flexible, handles multiple formats, and perfect for mobile. It's your everyday go-to. SOAP is secure. Notice how that meter swings the other way? It's heavy but bulletproof. 
XML only, strict standards, ACID compliance, it's built for situations where you absolutely positively cannot afford to lose a single byte. And think of it this way, REST is your Honda Civic. Reliable, efficient, gets the job done. SOAP is your armored truck. Slower, heavier, but nothing's getting through that security. And when something goes wrong, huh, even the errors are different. REST just tells you straight up, 404, burger not found, we're out of burgers. Simple, clear, done. SOAP, it sends you a formal fault notice with fault codes, fault strings, and detailed explanations wrapped in 17 layers of XML. It's like getting a legal document because they ran out of lobster. Both work, one's just a lot more dramatic about it. So here's the real world breakdown. Who's eating at rest? Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Netflix, Amazon, GitHub, basically every modern app you use daily. They need fast, simple, scalable. Who's still at SOAP? Banks, healthcare systems, airlines, payment gateways, industries where oops isn't an option. They need contracts, guarantees, and legal level documentation for every transaction. But here's the plot twist. Even these enterprise customers are slowly moving to rest. That SOAP restaurant? It's getting emptier every year. 90% of new APIs choose rest. The revolution already happened. Rest won. So here is your cheat sheet. Screenshot this. Building a modern web or mobile app? Rest. Don't even think twice. Need banking level security with signed contracts and compliance guarantees? Okay, consider SOAP. Want something fast, simple, and scalable? Rest all the way. The truth is, unless you're building systems for a bank or the Pentagon, you're choosing REST 99% of the time. And remember the golden rule. Web API is the neighborhood. REST and SOAP are just different restaurants in that neighborhood. And boom! Now you understand REST versus SOAP versus Web API. Let's recap. Web API is the whole restaurant district. REST is your fast casual burger joint, quick, simple, modern. SOAP is fine dining, formal, secure, but honestly, kinda overkill for most of us. If this finally made APIs click for you, hit that share button. Your developer friends will thank you. Which API restaurant would your project eat at? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, remember, when in doubt, choose REST. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.